shotgun. Want to make sure I stop him? Your choice. You know we're not hunting hog, right, Charlie? I know. It's just, you know, it's my dad's gun. Yeah, I get that. He's a good man. Why'd you make me meet you out here? We're picking someone up. The only person who lives out here is... Hey, Brock. Charlie, what did you know? Obviously. Let's go. So I was talking to Ma the other day. Yeah? Thinking about heading up to Denver. Maybe work a season or two. And pretty soon they're going to have the whole city cleared out. And then we're going to pay well for protection. <laughs> and you think somebody's going to pay you to protect them? Maybe not yet, but till then I can focus on killing every last one of these sons of bitches. You really think it's that easy? Oh, oh, calm down, Brock. She meant nothing by it. No, Stanley, she needs to hear this. You think you could just show up on your first day and be a big shot bounty hunter and kill them all yourself, huh? I was just saying. Yeah, just saying and not thinking. There's too much at stake out there to be pissing it away on fantasy. Goddamn hell out there, and it takes more than a gun to get through it alive. And I need to know that I can trust you to keep me alive. I don't know that I can trust you. <laughs> That's took balls, kid. Now pick him up. How's a 22 gonna stop a raging zombie anyhow? Zombies don't rage until after the first shot. So don't miss. Shh. So is it true? What true? What they say about Shiloh? Kid, I don't even know how to answer that. Doesn't it worry you, going hunting with him? Every damn time we go. But then why? No, I go because I have to. I go because I don't want another Shiloh. We've all seen terrible things since the outbreak. When we thought the worst was over, we chose Brock to lead us. And he did what he thought was best for everyone. Sometimes people get trapped. They get pushed into places and they react. I can't. I'm not trying to excuse what happened. Hell, Charlie, I'm trying to cope with it myself. Why didn't anybody stop it? It was a scary time then. People didn't know who their friends were. Who your enemies were. People just started disappearing left and right. Brock's daughter disappeared. It was after we sent out the search parties that the infection started to creep into our camp. A rumor could set off. Just fish. Clear. Rumor. Scares the shit out of everybody. But a whole town. No, he did what he thought was right. There's a whole town in that church. 
Behold, I have refined you, not as silver. I have tried you in the furnace of affliction. But he knows the way I take. And when he has tried me, I shall come out as gold. I'm not proud of what I did. But if I had to do it again, I would. In this business, you fight fire with more fire. So we become monsters too. If need be. All right, still rolling, come on. You know, you sound a lot like Maddie Ross. <laughs> Your mom ever tell you about that movie called True Grit? Isn't that a book? Doesn't she lose her arm at the end? Witness by this big SOB Roman accomplice. Just one. Bonnie with a little action. Careful, kid. Remember those movies I told you about? Mm -hmm. Well, the character who says that usually doesn't make it to the end. That sucker's huge. Yeah, he must have been a fighter in his previous life, or one of our guys. What do I do? Well, we could wait around until he gets angry, or you could use that walking stick that's in your hand. Just remember what I told you. Zombies don't rage. Unless they're starving. They also don't see for shit, either. <sighs> this is what we're getting paid to hunt. I wouldn't complain about easy money. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet he's got a couple friends with him, so... They're all gonna come running as soon as they hear the boom, so you better get ready. My name... It's Charlie. Mm. You killed my father. Mm. Prepare to die. Again. Wait, you know that, but not 28 days later? <laughs> 